What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on PLTR stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive for the price of this asset. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, when this asset uh, uh, almost hit this uh, yellow line, this range of resistance. And by the way, I marked these lines uh, back in the days uh, several uh, months ago. And these lines worked perfectly well. As you can see, this, the price of this asset respects uh, these uh, lines uh, very good. And we have very good uh, price action uh, uh, when uh, we have a bounce out of this range and uh, we have uh, the range of about $9 as the range of support, broke it to the upside with an increase in volume. And right here, I've told you that we didn't complete uh, the entire structure to the upside. We probably might see the movement that will hit some higher targets than the, the root harassment and another leg to the upside. And as you can see, this asset act, uh, acts exactly as I predicted. We had uh, the movement to the upside on the session right after I made my previous video. Almost hit the range of resistance, went a bit lower, collected some steam and broke it to the upside. And uh, as you can see, this breakout again uh, has a very uh, indicative volume. And uh, for now, we have the pullback right above this range of support. And so far, this range holds. And uh, definitely, this uh, shows how powerful technical analysis is. And for those of you who follow my channel for quite some time, you already know that uh, my technical analysis uh, is quite accurate. And my win rate uh, on uh, different assets uh, might be up to 75 and even 80%. And uh, if uh, you want uh, to be a part of uh, my community, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and share this video with your friends and family and hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. I think in a matter of just uh, several days, uh, I will open uh, a Patreon community with the Discord and there we will discuss uh, the uh, upcoming uh, lucrative uh, trades uh, and uh, I will show you some tips and tricks uh, from the technical standpoint. So, and let's continue with the fundamental news. What was uh, the reason of uh, this movement to the upside? On my previous video, I've told you that uh, Kathy Wood and her funds uh, adding uh, to their position in Palantir. And we have another news uh, that uh, was published on uh, Yahoo Finance uh, on May 23rd that uh, Palantir stock hits a 52-week high as Kathy Wood buys shares. And let me show you this website. It is a kathisark.com website. And here you can see the activity of uh, your, all of your funds. And here you can see that uh, ARKK fund added uh, just uh, uh, two days ago almost 250,000 shares to the position of Palantir. And previously on May 18th, they also added about 208,000 shares. Definitely, this might be quite a bullish sign for Palantir and that is why uh, some uh, people just trying to benefit from this price action. And let me show you that uh, according to Fintel.io website, uh, the share of uh, retail community inside the Palantir is quite high. 33.03% uh, held by institutional investors. This means uh, almost 67% uh, is uh, held uh, by uh, retail community. And that is why uh, this asset uh, is uh, quite volatile, because a lot of people want to benefit from uh, its uh, price action. And let me show you from its bottom uh, that uh, was set uh, on May the 5th. It is a local bottom. To its highest point, uh, its uh, movement uh, is mind-blowingly high. It gained about 82.72%. And that is why on StockTweets.com website, uh, this asset is on the fourth place on the most active section. And this means uh, we have to be very cautious with the position. And I will show you in my technical analysis uh, what you should do. And uh, before that, uh, let me show you another article that was published uh, on uh, Seeking Alpha. And it was published on May 22nd. And it says, Palantir, fortunes uh, will be made. And let me quote you the summary. Palantir's new AI platform could be a game changer for the business. There are also reasons to believe that Palantir's stock could retain its momentum in the foreseeable future. At the same time, 
Palantir has everything going for it to continue to scale its business and create additional shareholder value along the way. And this article is quite bullish. I don't want to dive deeper inside this article. I will, I just, uh, I will put the link on this article in the description below and you can read it by yourself. But uh, you have to know all the pros and all the cons uh, on every company that you want to invest. And that is why you have to read all the possible information. So let me show you their recent uh, uh, press release. And as you can see, it was also published on Yahoo Finance. And it is the official press release from PR Newswire. And it says, CNA and Palantir develop artificial intelligence model to optimize the product purchasing and inventory restocking process. And uh, here is the new partnership uh, with the Brazilian company. And let me quote you the planning and business intelligence director for C&A Brazil. Uh, his name is Bruno Ferreira. And he said, we are the first Brazilian fashion retail brand to rely on this artificial intelligence technology. The flow developed uh, allowed us to optimize and speed up uh, the entire purchase process from the initial planning to sending the products to the stores. Among the significant gains, I'd uh, highlight uh, the increase of sales of products that we wore in stock and the reduction of unnecessary overstock. And definitely for each uh, business, uh, it is uh, very important uh, to manage uh, in between their profit and losses and to mitigate their losses and to reduce their cost uh, of sales. And that is why this type of partnerships might be very useful for the Palantir's partners. And definitely it benefits the Palantir itself as a company provider of this service. So, and uh, for now, I have to say that Palantir, uh, in my opinion, still has a very bright future. But uh, according to technical analysis, uh, we have to be cautious. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family and hit the like button. So. As you can see, uh, this asset uh, is uh, acting exactly as I predicted. Uh, we've completed first wave, we've, we've completed second wave, and we were forming the third wave. And my main assumption was that we should hit the uh, $13.88 mark. But so far, uh, let me show you that on a smaller scale, we have something like this. This is our first wave, second, third, fourth, one, two, three, four and we are about to see the top of our fifth wave in my opinion if this bottom holds this means the next leg will be to the upside that will complete the five wave structure inside the third wave and this will be the top of the third wave and uh, then we will have a retracement and probably right after the retracement we will have an opportunity to hit higher targets but so far it is too early to make this assumption we don't have two major pivot points in order to project this price target this means in the short term perspective we probably might hit a bit higher price point probably it will be a 1.6 uh, extension level if i pull this tool from the bottom of the first wave to the top of the first wave and to the bottom of the retracement and this is the most common ratio of extension in the third wave compared to first one and let me show you uh, another potential uh, confluence reason so right now we are exactly at this range of support and uh, definitely we have very good chances to hit this target and to project uh, uh, from the uh, mine from the lower priced uh, scale the uh, potential target we have to pull the fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of the internal third wave to the top of the internal third wave and to the bottom of the retracement and guess what uh, let me show you in details we have uh, if this uh, bottom holds if it doesn't break uh, this range of support we have the 0 0.786 let me show you more thoroughly 0 0.786 fibonacci extension level as the most common ratio of the extension in the fifth wave compared to third one and it is 100 percent confluence with the 13.88 dollars mark that i marked uh, previously uh, from the bottom of uh, the movement to uh, see the extension in the third wave. This means uh, as long as this pivot holds and this pivot holds of uh, $11.4, we have very good chances to hit this target. But uh, then we will have to have a retracement and this retracement uh, will be an opportunity to enter your long position. So I don't recommend you to enter your long position right now because uh, it doesn't uh, worth uh, your attention. Uh, in uh, best case scenario, probably we might have up to 10%. Uh, 
but uh, if it goes lower we have again about 10 or even more percent uh, to the downside and this means one to one risk to reward ratio is not the perfect one that's why just wait and uh, if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag, stadium packed Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just